Hey, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at another malware removal program called FreeFixer. It's a free download, and you can get it from this website here, www.freefixer.com. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, but they never released the 64 bit until recently, so now they've released the 64 bit for Windows. I'm going to be making this video. So, this is where you can download it from. It works with Windows 2000, XP, 03, 08, Vista. And Windows 7 and compatible with 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. It's got a really useful user manual which I'll show you in a bit. So I've already got this uh, program installed. Now I've infected this PC a little bit, not much, but normally my normal process of uh, removal would be to open up Process Explorer and then try and find files that are running so I can actually kill the process and it will help me delete the file a lot easier that I'm trying to delete. So let's have a little look. Now normally when you've got infections there's normally loads of stuff running and you can actually hit the little file that you want to kill and kill process from here. I've not really over infected this PC really I've only put a little few uh, infections on here and it looks like a lot of them aren't running so I'm going to leave this bit for now but normally this is the first place I would come with a really infected machine and I would actually come in here and delete these okay so let's uh, get started anyway I'm just going to shut that off let's fire up a uh, free fixer okay this is free fixer as I said we've got a free fixer manual here you can click on this and it will take you to the manual which is online. You could print this out if you wanted to but as you can see it's pretty loaded with loads of information tells you all about it and it's really useful. I really have thought about everything with this program and this is the actual program you'll see in a minute when I start to run it. So this is the scan button we've also got the settings it looks very basic I know but it's quite a powerful tool so don't underestimate what it can do by just its looks because it is quite a powerful tool. You've got file nuker in the tools bit. You actually locate the path here of the file and then click delete file and this file will be deleted on your next reboot of the machine. A really useful tool that. And also we've got Windows system file checker. You can click on this and it will do a system file check of your files and uh, protective files that have been overwritten or tampered with and restores to the correct version okay and it's saying here basically before you do this you'll probably need a Windows installation CD which we all knew that anyway so it's the donate button here if you do like the program do consider donating uh, these guys have put a lot of work in so let's actually do a scan now let this scan up see what uh, comes up now as I said you've got to be very careful when you're putting ticks in the boxes because once you put the tick in and push remove or fix or delete whatever it says there you're actually going to remove that file these are really great recently created or modified files now if you've just been infected run this program and anything that's just been installed on your system you'll see there I'll show you in a second when this is finished So we'll let this finish its job. Okay, so that's the scan now finished. And what we can do now, you can see here, free fixer helper forum. Now, if once you've finished, you can click on this, and it will take you to the forum, and it will you can post your log files on on this forum, and it will help you. They will actually diagnose the log file that you saved. This is your saved log file. Okay. So anything you do, you can save this log and actually post it on there or our forum if you like and we'll help you as well. So let's actually have a look at what it's actually doing. So if you come down here, you can see there's a little more information here. So if you don't know what it is, then you can click on the more information. Don't worry about the green ones. These are pretty safe as you can see. This is to do with a virtual box. But if I clicked on this here, it will give me more information 
and we can actually let that load up and it will take us to this server and tell us what that file is and there you go we can read this now and it will tell you exactly what this file does okay so the information is there and you can say I will keep this file or I will remove this file okay and you've got the hashes there and the digital uh, signatures it gives you the full information so let's just shut that off now I know this one's a virus as you can see so let's use it on this one just to see what it says okay so let's come back down it's telling us the product name you see and then you just read about it and you can either remove it or keep it so I'm going to remove that because I know that's a, an infection what we need to do now is come down a bit further there's free fixer services so on drivers okay so now we've got uh, recently modified files this is the area I was telling you about and we can actually put ticks in these because we know that these were an infection that's just been installed 37 minutes ago which was me putting it on there but obviously you would keep close tabs on that yourself okay so we can put ticks in all these okay so that's uh, all the ticks in now as you can see we've got the ticks in there's quite a few there and we're going to be removing all these now so all we need to do is come up to the top where it says fix click fix and that that's those gone now the good thing is we know they've gone but always use another program like Malwarebytes or something of that nature Super Anti Spyware and give it a secondary scan with that just don't take that as the only scan that you're going to do okay but for this video we're just really looking at Free Fixer so that's how you use Free Fixer it's a great program download it use it let us know what you think thanks very much for watching my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel also if you want to get over to our forums, got any problems, post over there and uh, we'll try and help you out. So thanks guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, bye for now.